Um, I wanted to pop on real quick because a question that I see very often um, in this group is, why am I not losing any weight? And I know Dr. Kayla did a talk um, back in February and she was dead on, but the other day I was doing some research for a live um, on some of the ingredients in the product and I kind of had a light bulb moment. And so I wanted to hop on real quick and explain my thought on the scale and see if it helps anybody else. Number one is if you've been on a diet and you seem to quickly lose like five pounds your first week, it's probably water weight. Um, most diets are going to involve cutting out something, right? You're cutting out carbs or you're cutting out processed foods and all of those things tend to hold on to water a little bit. So if you've dieted in the past and you've lost five pounds the first week, that was usually water weight, not fat. We don't usually use, lose five pounds of fat in the first week. And so if you're not seeing that, there's a reason. Neora Fit is a totally different weight management system. With Neora Fit, our goal is not to lose weight. It is to convert. It is converting white fat, which is belly fat, bra fat, back fat, all that fat we don't like, right? We're converting that into brown fat. And if you're not familiar with this fat browning mechanism, um, Dr. Davidson did a really good presentation. I think it might be pinned to the top of this, but go find it. And she really explains the fat browning process. And for time's sake, I'm not going to go into it. But white fat is fluffy. It's big and it either... The amount of fat that we have is what we have. So in a typical weight loss situation, we are shrinking the white fat cells that we have. And when we gain weight, we increase the white fat cells that we have. But they don't go anywhere. The fat cells that we have are the fat cells that we have. So in using the New York Fit system, it's actually converting white fat cells to brown fat cells. Okay, and in a typical weight loss, in an ideal weight loss scenario, when people lose weight, 50% of the weight that they lose is actually muscle mass. So if you lose weight, you're gonna lose 50% fat, 50% muscle. This is not what we wanna do, especially as we age, it's very hard to build muscle mass and muscle burns fat, muscle builds our, or stokes our metabolism. It is not a good place to be. So say then you've lost your weight and then you gain a little back. Most likely what you gained back is primarily fat, again, because it's very hard to build muscle, especially as we age. So then you go on another diet and you lose fat and you lose protein or muscle, but then you gain fat. Do you see what's happening? We're gaining and losing much more fat than we are muscle. So in your fit, because it's not losing weight, we're converting that big fluffy white fat into really small dense brown fat brown fat is takes up a lot less space than white fat okay and you hear people say muscle weighs more than fat and that's why you're losing inches and that is true but think of it like this it's not so much that muscle weighs more than fat because if you have a ton of feathers and a ton of bricks, which one weighs more? They both weigh a ton, right? But the ton of feathers is going to take up a much larger space than a ton of bricks. Same with muscle and fat. Muscle is going to take up, a pound of muscle is going to take up a much smaller space than a pound of fat. The same is true with white fat and brown fat. Brown fat is small, it's dense, it takes up less space. So if we're converting, that white fat, that big, taking up lots of space white fat to brown fat, you may still have a pound of fat. It's just been converted into a smaller space. So you haven't lost any weight, you've converted. But this is not a bad thing at all because if you're a 150 pound person, about 20 to 30 pounds of your body weight is white fat, okay? The rest of it is bone, muscle, that kind of thing organs of that 20 to 30 pounds of fat only about two to three ounces of it is brown fat however that two to three ounces is actually burning 
three to 500 calories a day. So I live in Western Pennsylvania. I have three children who play hockey. I am shivering all the time, right? I'm cold. When we're cold, we shiver. That is to create energy in our body. Brown fat creates its own energy without shivering. And by doing that, it is burning calories. So if we take all this white fat and we convert it into a ton of brown fat, we are burning massive amount of calories without doing anything. And so once you're done with that conversion, and if you have a lot of weight that you want to come out, a lot of white fat that you want to convert, it's going to take some time. But the more brown fat we get, the more calories we're going to burn without even changing anything. So you may see that kind of plateau. We didn't lose a lot of weight. It's okay. You're stoking your metabolism. Things are happening. You're shape changing, right? So we that's why everybody's seeing a change in shape. They're going from big, fluffy, white fat to small, tiny, condensed brown fat. So you, you're losing inches. And then once that brown fat is really on fire, right? Burning tons of calories for you then you may start to see the weight drop because at that point, now you're burning your fat stores. You're not converting as much maybe, but you're starting to burn, okay? And in women specifically, um, because that's what I deal with, and, and men, you know, my husband can go on a diet, still eat a sleeve of Girl Scout cookies and lose 15 pounds, and I can stick to it 100% and gain two pounds. It's just not fair, but that's the way it is. In women, really when you put a woman on a healthy diet and, and really are trying to get them healthy, the very first thing I want to see is, do you have more energy? Are you sleeping better? Do your hormones seem better? Is your menstrual cycle better? Are you, is your mood better? If yes, we're on the right track. So that's the first thing that happens in women. The second thing that happens in women is you will start to see inches drop. This is important though. If you are only measuring your waist, please stop. Women lose, tend to lose inches from the top down. And if you have been on a diet and are not necessarily a, have a lot to lose on the top, you know that is the first place that you're going to have, you're going to lose weight, right? Places we don't want to lose it are the first to go. And then the places that we're dying to get rid of are the last to go. So please make sure you are measuring arms, chest, waist, hip, butt, thighs, calves, okay? Because if you're not seeing your weight loss so much around your hips, that's normal for women. You might have seen a huge drop in your arms or your chest. It will come, okay? And then the third thing we start to see change is the scale. Although again, I will tell you, my body is super happy at 145 pounds. I think I have been 145 for most of my adult life. I can be 145 fluffy, just had a baby. I can be a very lean, low body fat, 145. And totally different look. So if your scale is not moving, I would really encourage you to hop off of it. Do your measurements take your pictures, engage how you're really feeling, okay? So I hope that was helpful for somebody. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. I'm heading to a nice rink. See you guys.